day two in Taiwan. Today, well, right now, I'm about to go visit four or five manufacturing companies that, that I might be going through to get my hot oil created. I have no idea how this process will go. All I know is I need some breakfast. There it is. The manufacturer is, they're inside this alley somewhere. This is like a, like an area outside of Taipei. Um, I think it's just mainly factories in this area. Here it is. This factory right here, Tiayo. I felt that was a very productive meeting. Um, <laughs> let's try not to get run over by a truck. Uh, the lady was really nice. She gave me a baggie to, uh, hold my hot oil. So she's gonna make a batch of my hot oil and then um, I'm gonna taste it and see if it works out. I think this is a really nice company, but I got four more places to check out. Now I'm gonna go back to Taipei and it's lunchtime. I took a cab here, but going back, I'm just gonna take a train back. I like this little guy. He seems like he's got a sense of urgency. Maybe he just really needs to go to the bathroom. Let's figure out how this works. Wow, this place seems really popular. It's just like a bunch of, bunch of rice and dishes. Wait a second, I know this cat. Oh, this whole cafe is like owned by this cat. That's it for this hotel. Um, next stop, it's gonna be really cool. Taipei 101. Holy cow, this is gorgeous. I'm really excited for this. Usually in Taiwan, you don't get to control your temperature in your hotel rooms. It's all like central air, central heat. Look at this room. This is crazy beautiful. You get like a little meditation mat right here. I know that's probably like a couch. Oh, here we go. What a view. Beautiful bed. Look how cool this is. This is, what is this? Whoa. If, you, if there's like multiple people here, they can watch you take a bath. Gorgeous bathtub. What does this do? Oh, it's a jewelry holder. What? Amenities drawer. You get your own little private toilet. You get to, you get to, whoa! Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's kind of scared me a little. So, hang on a second, let me see. It's like motion sensor activated. <laughs> and you get to poop and talk to someone at the same time. This room, it, it's just fantastic. This is definitely the best hotel room I've ever stayed at in Taipei. Cause usually I stay at the dandy type hotels, which are only uh, 70, $80 a night. But because it was so awesome um, at the St. Regis and at the W in Singapore. So I reached out to them again to see if they could set me up here in Taipei. And they gave me this and absolutely just, just a stunning room. Also, another reason I wanted to stay here is, is because of what I'm about to eat tonight. I mentioned before, but every city I go to, I look for all-you-can-eat buffets, like the best all-you-can-eat buffets. And the W Hotel in Taipei has one of the best seafood buffets that they only serve on Friday and Saturday nights. So tonight, that's what I'm gonna eat. And of course, I'm gonna film it to show you guys what they have to offer. This place, look at this. Um, you control all the lights from your bed stand. And see, there's water here, free water. Then, you go over here, more free water, then you, you go through the sliding window shades and to the bathroom, more free water. From the bed, you could kind of take a shortcut. Instead of having to walk all the way to the door, you can just open this up and just walk on through. The doorbell ring, let's see who it is. Hi. 
So, well, what is this? Uh, uh, 101 tower. This is 101 tower. Wow. That's for me? Yes, for you. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Thanks. Wow, look at that. These guys at the W are just too nice. Egg tarts, meat, and uh, tomatoes. A uh, little bun. Not sure what that is yet. And a little curry puff. Dearest Michael, welcome to the W Taipei. Have a blast with us. Thank you. Little tomatoes and black beans. Ah, I'm stupid. That's not tomatoes. We're a candied plum. Ah, it's good. This looks like chicken. Ah, chicken. I didn't realize I was starving. Mmm. This is a pineapple bun. Like a round bun. No, oh, this is great. It's candied chili pepper and pineapple. How interesting. Scallions. A little curry puff. I love this. Beautiful view. Starting to rain. Nice, comfortable little couch slash bed. There's only one thing you can do right now. I'm gonna take a nap. Gotta, you know, conserve some energy before a big seafood feast. I'll see you at the buffet. I woke up, I was knocked at the door, and there was popcorn. I don't even like popcorn. But I like free popcorn. Oh, that's delicious. Cheesy, just like me. I was looking for slippers. Look how, like it's it's like cushiony, cushiony slippers. Not some comfy hotel slippers. All right, let's go get some seafood. Whoa, late breakfast with Mr. Lobster. I wanna have a late breakfast with Mr. Lobster. Oh, this is really cool, guys. The chef is actually gonna show us how he made the lobster claw with spicy sauce. Let's go check it out. All right, that's it. I, I came here when they just first opened, and I'm leaving when they're shutting it down. I think that's the best amount of time to spend at a buffet. Now I'm going to the top of this restaurant. Supposedly, there's a great view of Taipei 101. More food. I'm sure all you can eat, but... I kind of want whatever's inside those steam baskets. Hi, my name is Bruce. Bruce, nice to meet you. Mike, Hi. what are you making? And one is cocktail. Cocktail? Yes, it's gin. Yeah. And one mocktail is neka. Neka? Yes, neka. What is a neka? Neka is a mocktail. It's a uh, Earl Grey tea. Earl Grey tea? Yes. So you're going to make me a, a mocktail with Earl Grey tea? Yes. I'm excited about that. Thank you. So this is the cocktail? Yes. Okay. This is cocktail. And green heart juice. My mocktail Earl Grey tea. Yeah. Two shots of Earl Grey tea. Yeah. Hope I can handle that. Three shots? I don't know if I can handle that, Bruce. That might be a little tough on me. And apple juice. Apple juice, man. Now you really don't want me to wake up tomorrow morning. Man, Bruce is making me a stiff drink. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. I've never had Tabasco sauce in my drink before. And I don't keep pepper. What is that? Pepper. Pepper? Yes. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. There it is. You can see like Taipei 101 over there. Well, you can't really see it that well, but uh, this is my little space. And check it out. I got beef noodle soup right after my lobster buffet. The chef yes. cooked my noodle soup for me. Very excited. Hi. If you're watching this and wondering, Mike, how could you possibly eat a big bowl of beef noodle soup right after your all-you-can-eat seafood buffet? All I can tell you is that, you know that extra stomach I have that's reserved only for lobster? Well, yeah, there's another one just for beef noodle soup. That and uh, while you're traveling, yeah, food really doesn't count. It's a rule. Look at this. Beef tendon. So this is a mixture too. Lean beef, beef tendon. Some bok choy. Noodles are a nice medium variety. They're curvy, almost look like Japanese ramen. There's some garnishes that comes with it. Definitely gonna add the spicy chili. 
cilantro, and some pickled veggie. Uh, that's a really flavorful broth. Those noodles are handmade. You can tell right away. Mm. Ever since like 6 p.m., so about four and a half hours ago, I've been eating literally nonstop. And I just want to say, isn't that the best fun ever? I forgot about my mocktail. Wow. Oh, it tastes like spicy tea. I'm tapped out for tonight. I, I ran out of stomach space. But what a fun second day in Taiwan. Good night, everybody.